A more sad boy for me. You can't stop sad boy because that's why evil me comes out. Because when I'm depressed and feel hollow, Nick, then he takes over. I what? have a question. What? Are those guys naked? Oh my god. Anyway, we're on Ultramar. <laughs> You're not the only one that can quote Claire. the blade. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's a quote, Daisy. Don't worry about it. It's a really yeah. stupid quote from this series. Oh my god. But yeah, he's talking about the one time he threw a codex at an Eldar and he broke its sp spine. Oh my god. And used it as a hula hoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Good times. Anyways. What were we talking about before? Oh, Augustus, yeah. we've literally been standing here talking for months. Yeah, they can do that. I have not the slightest idea what yeah. you are referring to. A certain theme in the chapter you said before you started talking about your green trim. Oh, yes. oh. My green trim. It's pretty unique, isn't it? You're begging for a fisting boy. Well, for the longest time now, being the captain of the fourth company. So I was wrong. He's the captain of the fourth. I thought he was captain of the third. I remember times where we actually had a fair amount of difficulties and stains within our chapter's history. Yeah, for the most part, the Ultramarines, they haven't lost a battle in a long time. Like, the like... The last one was a really long time ago where they first met the uh, the Tyranids, where the Chapter Master lost all of his limbs. That's where he got the impression of the Black Knight from uh, Monty Python, where he just started whacking it like, How about you, Xeno scum? And then it cuts off his leg and says, Fine, we'll call it a draw. Somehow, though, I feel that our history is slowly changing. Oh. I know that it is impossible to change the past, but... Uh, in the warp, it's kind of hard to I can't be sure. Help but feel that the past as I remember it just isn't the same anymore. Could you elaborate on that? Remember when I released that death metal looking brother fucker known as the Nightbringer from its prison? Uh, the Nightbringer is a Catan for, well... One of the star gods who his main thing is that he's the embodiment of death. He, uh, he's actually pretty strong, but he got his ass kicked by Cain, so I'm not sure about yes. him. It was actually a really harsh day for my pride, and I deserved punishment for the shame I brought upon the chapter. Mm. I have never forgiven myself for that day. I remember that it broke your heart, but you did ultimately redeem yourself. Mm. <laughs> Ultra well, sniff. Recently, it was apparently proven <laughs> that what was unleashed wasn't even the Nightbringer at all. Oh. What? Apparently, it was only a I forget the name of the writer that did this, but yeah, he rewrote some of the stuff. It's bad. Also, Crodo, I might need your editing skills one day, and I might pay you for them. Fragment of the being, and it's... Yeah, I have oh, an idea. You're asking him? Yeah. For what? You're asking him for tips, even though I told him how to do it. <laughs> well, if you two work together on making this video, because I have a few video ideas I've been wanting to make. With It's mostly me speaking with bits happening around me, but yeah. Yeah. Oh. I didn't even have any actual authority over the motherfucking Necron. I use a uh, well, DaVinci Resolve for my, my editing. Do you? Oh, this is what it calls him. Remember how Kanto Shatarius oh. lost the planet of Damnos around that time? It was a huge loss and had a massive impact on the Imperium. Yeah, uh, they're talking about the rewrites, basically. <laughs> Yes. Oh my it god. It's strange enough that we tried reclaiming it in the first place, considering oh, we blew up yeah. assisting the defense of Kaja due to a lack of troops. Even yeah. Sakari's barely managed to escape that battle. But what really fucking turned it around was the somehow successful counterattack that we made when the Necros were fully awakened. Oh yeah. I, I just don't understand that, how they were able to make a successful counterattack against fully awakened Necrons. 
I remember the writer for them at the time was just really wanted to show them how powerful they were. Even I, th I think even he's even a man breaking the rules. I think it's one. Of, he's one of the reasons they're the poster boys of the Space Marines, even though I kind of wish they weren't. About that, we won that one too, didn't we? Yeah. In the reports I read, I couldn't help but notice some very strange details, though. For one, you managed oh, to retake that ancient tomb world and detonate every single fucking Which tomb sounds world, impossible. Like, annihilating every last Necron there. How did because you, by the Emperor's mummified testicles, I didn't need to think about that, the but yeah. Those complexes? <laughs> uh, we, we just follow the dude up to storm sites. <laughs> 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 the the Necrons having do not disturb signs is hilarious to me. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, the blowing up all the uh basically a tomb world is gigantic, so blowing up all of the tomb complexes sounds insane and almost impossible. Fair enough, I guess. The other thing I noticed was that Zakaria is supposed to be the transcendent Catan all by himself. I... I... I what? <laughs> For those that don't know, even a Catan at its weakest form is still referred to as a star god and can do some crazy bullshit. Even the weakest one, the Deceiver, can pull off some crazy shit. So, what? So a lone space marine somehow defeating a transcendent catan. Fucking gallbladder! Did he do that? Oh my god! Dear God! Indeed, Sigmarius. I hate him. I shall teach you another combat technique. So stupid. Even better. I. With all due respect, I, Kaldus Akarius, am more skilled in the art of melee combat than you. But I, Kaldus Akarius, will be very happy to hear you out and provide some humble criticism. He's so fucking arrogant, even to the chapter master. <laughs> Quite literally saying, yeah. I am probably better at melee than you, but I will give credit to criticism. Oh, Daisy made a clip and sent it to Fable. All right, step one. Just stand perfectly Oh my goodness, Daisy. Standing still in combat is very detrimental, but it you. Still oh my god. Walk up slowly to your hated enemy. It is better to be quick on your feet and fast with your Oh my god. Step three. Raise your fist like I'm doing right now. And prepare oh, to unleash your fury upon your foes unexpecting face. But I, Captain Sicarius, would personally rather go into a cut stance like this and probably oh. for I cast fist. <laughs> I love that. survived this far is a fucking oh mystery, God. especially in that fight against the Catan. Well, yeah. Uh, it was probably just lucky. The Catan oh. must have tripped up some rocks or something. That's hilarious. Actually, that goes for everyone he fought. Don't the Catan just kind of like. Yeah, they do kind of just float around. They're like big giant ghosts. It's so funny. Craig's best bit. Okay, float clip the best bits for me. <laughs> Fable laughing is honestly something that brings a smile on my face where I can just make Fable laugh by doing silly shit. Uh, I... Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I do like that he literally is so sick of Kataskaya. Planet and floating rocks! But yeah. Oh uh, well, <sighs> that too is fair enough, I guess. Though I must say, if, uh, the strangest part of the If you happen to hear a beep going off, don't worry about that. My house uh. is totally not on fire. <laughs> oh, uh, Mori, no. you might need to get there faster than you would have thought. Because, uh, I'm, I'm fixing some, uh, burgers on the stovetop. That's why he yelled out burgers and, again, like with the video. And, and it, it's making the house very smoky, but I promise there's no fire. Or you might need it's to get there faster than you thought. Sensitive. It's just the alarms are very sensitive because the previous owners 
were like on oxygen. Oh, that so, makes sense. Yeah, they just well, tend they to go like off a, on their own. So they have like a oxygen on the side. Uh, yeah, they have a because yeah. someone that has one of those things on their face, it's pure oxygen, which makes it extremely yeah. flammable. Yeah. So I think they made these sensors a little bit more sensitive than normal yeah. ones. So like any smoke mm -hmm. will cause it to just go off. It's which and I'm chat it hasn't gone off yet. And chat says quickly more, grab the fire extinguisher. <laughs> no problem. Well just see actually, Mori, make a picture of Chrono cooking and it's just fire while you're grabbing the fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> Trust my cooking skills? No! I think I'm pretty okay. I think I'm pretty okay. I don't, I don't trust you when you're in the kitchen. Anyway. <laughs> moving on. Come on, babe. I, come on. <laughs> Why don't you cook the steak for like 14 minutes? Okay. I'm still First on off. Yes, because your cooking skills is questionable. First off. That was the first time I ever cooked a steak, by the way. Secondly, oh I was I was going You're by cooking. what my dad had told me to do, which normally he cooks it on the grill, which cooks the steaks faster than it would on a stovetop. And he was just well, well, he he was kind of estimating the time. He wasn't really for sure the time. Okay. So. And anyway, cooking, uh, Chrono's horrible cooking like aside, we must move slowly but surely forward. Atmos report involved. Oh, yeah, yeah this. Uh, Fable, I want you to watch this part specifically. <laughs> well, what will that be? I don't remember doing anything exceptional. Oh, uh, well. Basically, the part where you oh. ripped a Necron pylon off the ground and <laughs> used it as a weapon. What? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds completely insane. It's basically like a person ripping a building off of the ground and using it as a weapon. Uh, you see, I have a theory concerning that. All of these things. All of them are nearly impossible to do. Yeah. Even judging by our already high standards. There is a theory that the orcs think that the space mar uh, that the ultramarines are the bestest of the space marines, so that's what makes them so strong. And, and what's also the because of the well, color blue. Yeah. Not to casually disown my theory like any saner person would. But I believe that someone or something is manipulating time and space itself, bending the very rules of reality in order to make sure that the ultramarines are superior in the eyes of the yeah. universe, ensuring that they will never fail. I, I just need some more evidence, but I'm also positive that some such phenomena is what's currently happening. Oh dear. It isn't the craziest thing to have happened after all. I do like that they actually brought that into the lore in an interesting way here. Where it's just, yeah, we're recognizing this, but they're recognizing that it's not normal and something's going on. Ugh. Is everything alright? Hmm. What if it is the Emperor? I believe in him. Yeah. But I don't think that this behavior is something he would just... I mean, he is very annoyed at you. If he did do it, it wouldn't be exclusively for us. Yeah, because I feel like he would do it to help all of the original legions. Impossible. Or the loyalist legions. There can't be anything manipulating us. We, we certainly know about it. We can't do anything about something we don't know. It does not mean that we cannot act. And mm. why are you being so suspicious. I am not being suspicious. You are being inquisitive. Leave that sort of thing to oh. the hmm. Why so? Do you know anything else I should know? Are you hiding something? Yes! I, I mean, no! 
Definitely no. Absolutely, positively no. Let what do you think, Fable? What? About all this. Um, I blame the orcs. Well, of course, course you do. Anything. I am the chapter master. Leave immediately. Okay. Very well then. Farewell, chapter master. He seems slightly annoyed by this. Hmm. <sighs> I really sunk deep into the shit mire this time. My boy, oh. We have succeeded in acquiring a planting the Salamis artifacts. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 oh, <God. laughs> It's because they went, my glorious chapter master, we have found the, uh, uh, the salamander's artifacts and placed them. And he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> We are one. I think uh, Chrono's gonna like the Dark Angels because they are very goofy here. But look who it is. You who is that, Fable? And I understand why. Let uh, us not talk about it. Oh. I do hope our nightly cuddling sessions will not be rescheduled because of this. Let us not fucking talk about it. Is that really you? Yes, yes. Phallic individual. <laughs> it is I. Roll Phallic the individual. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. For those who don't know, Rogaldorn is extremely blunt. The best way I can describe his personality is he's very nice and fatherly, but he does not mince words whatsoever. Neither does he get uh, jokes most of the time. Yeah. You die while trying to stop He's known as a stonewall yeah. for a reason. Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> I survived. How? By being dead. In protection. <laughs> I love her. Excuse me. <laughs> I survived <laughs> by being dead. By pretend. <laughs> I love Rogel, can you tell? <laughs> Excuse me, what? Yeah, I need to see Twitter for a sec. Leah. Can you tell why I love Rogel Dorn, Fable? He's stupid. But so she's lovely. He pretends to be dead and then came here to Terra. Yes. <laughs> why? <laughs> A revelation led me to it. The Black Crusade uh. must be stopped. Magic okay, Kingdom, hang on. Tell me what to do. <laughs> I'm not seeing on Twitter. The glove has spoken. <laughs> the glove has spoken. We need a kid fable of magic penguin. We don't want a magic <laughs> penguin. That's a mystery penguin. box. Oh my god, feet on stream. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. I see it. I see it. That's funny. Yeah. Um, Mori just posted no, alive, feet on stream. Uh, please direct your eyes Laughing somewhere emojis. else. <laughs> Oh, I love Cannot this. Cannot fulfill that wish. I will gouge your eyes out with the broken fragments <laughs> of your own iron halo. If you do not stop staring... No, you will, will not. not. My iron halo was dislodged in your eye socket 10,000 years ago. Oh, okay. The spanking of your ass shall be thorough and merciless. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Your sons, the Imperial Fists, recovered one of your hands on a ship where you supposedly yeah. died. How do you explain that? I abandoned it upon that ship. Uh. Why? A revelation Ooh. led me to it. <laughs> Magic pain glove. I am lost on this heretical ship. <laughs> Tell me what I should do. Oh my God. <laughs> Your services are no longer required. Oh God. <laughs> oh, that's pretty dumb. No. <laughs> it is the story of why I am here. Can you please go away for another 10,000 years? No. 
I, so you've been hiding the fact that this entire time. I love that he's just saying no. I love the voice actor who does it. <laughs> no. You've been alive for over nine millennia no. from the entire Imperium, including your own sons, yeah. just so you could dress in Centurion armor and roam around the Imperial Palace. I took upon a vow of silence to atone for past sins. <laughs> that is just fucking stupid. I disagree. <laughs> well, have you been intentionally keeping silent all this time? How can you suddenly come in here and reveal your identity? I mean, you could have done it at any time. Pretty much. Why now of all times? Mm -hmm. I must prevent you from speaking of the wolves. You dare question my subject matter of the day? Yes. For fuck's sake, <laughs> yes. If you speak of the wolves, <laughs> you will rekindle the great rage in the Cyclops. Immense destruction would commence, and you would endanger father. Well, I guess Mr. Cyclops will just have to start like, taking uh, meditation <laughs> classes and calm the balls down. Oh, God. That would not work. Damn it, Rogel, I know. Stop being as sensible as a piece of wood, you useless sack of sassy sauce. There is no such sauce product. <laughs> 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 when you kept quiet. I love Rogel in this. It's fair that we talk about the space wolves. I mean, if Magnus gets mad, then so be it. But yeah. Really, though, I don't honestly think that his rage is as genuine as he makes it out to be. Come on, who could hate the Space Wolves? They're great! True. He's probably just jealous because the Space Wolves were a lot better than my Thousand Sons. He's also true. He's standing right behind you. Space Wolves! Oh, shit. shit. Stop that. Only I am allowed to <laughs> desert. get your own. He is not listening. I'm horrible. You are not fucking helping. <laughs> Oh, this is Magnus' true demon form, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. He has a, That's actually kind of dumb. Yeah, he has a newer one, which doesn't look as ugly, but still. He has broken loose into his true form. Initiate the cheese shields. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. The no cheese shield? What? I have to yeah. do some other stuff. I trust you, my son. <laughs> you will take care of it. What are you going to do? I cannot tell. Why? I just do not trust you. <laughs> I do believe a custodian could probably <laughs> take on a demon Primarch, but yeah. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, he's calling the Space Wolves furries. What else is going on? <laughs> Oh yeah, they're still in the warp! You, represent oh. yourself. Yeah. Your name and your purpose in this realm. According to the ruling decrees of the Grey Knights and the oath taken uh. upon my initiation as Supreme Grand Master. It's a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> How did you know that, Fable? <laughs> I've seen the clip, actually. <laughs> Just that one specific clip where he's like, it's a secret. I've seen that so many times. You have oh my no god. Idea. Other than that, I don't know anything else. I just thought that he was going to say that. Oh my god. Oh my well kept secret. Have you made a visit me. in my ear? So have you? <laughs> it really is you. It is yeah. such an honor to meet the most esteemed of all Grey Knights in the galaxy. Yeah. Have you seen my sword anywhere? I cannot <laughs> find it. It's. It's in your hand. That is a lie! <laughs> well, exist um... in my reality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just... He's apparently one of the strongest space marines ever, but he... As you can tell in here, he's not in his right mind. Just stop. Please. Wow, this man's so deep I could drown in him. Stopping is not an option. Come, we must go before it is too late. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the war, after all. Yeah. Or a gene stealer. Excellent thing. I don't think it was a gene stealer, but okay. It might be a hallucination, but if he is who he claims Thank to be, for the hydrate, we cannot Daisy. afford to let him go. However, if he is a demon, we can still kill him in my name. In his it's a name. Win -win. Oh my god. He's the mind of our generation. Oh. Who could that be, Fable? Where did he go? Where in the warp is Oh no, no, where did he go? Are you really trying to follow him? 
Oh. Who is it, Fables? Uh oh. Fresh meat. Who dares uh, insult my most sacred presence? Not Oh no. Who could that be, Fable? They're in the war, right? <clears throat> yes, they're in the war. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Is that Lehman Rush? Who do you think? No. You seem too pompous to be a cultist, and yet. You aren't fairy enough to be a wolf in. Yep, it's yeah, Liam and <laughs> Inquisitors? Oh, brilliant deduction. Throughout most of my life, I have gone by the name Lord Inquisitor. Why do you not like Lehman? Oh, he's not the represent... best Primark, in all honesty. Uh, to be honest, not he's the, the prime... worst either, but. <laughs> He's the Primarch, for, the, for those that don't know, he's the Primarch made to kill other Primarchs. Yeah, he, he's just the battle-hardened dude. He's not bad. He's not good either. He, he's just kind of like a weird mitts bag. He's a... He's he, alright. He was basically raised in a Viking land, and he was raised by wolves originally. Yeah. Funny enough, when mm -hmm. he was a baby, he refused to leave his wolf brother and wolf... Or wolf brothers because he was raised by his wolf mother. He was raised by a wolf, basically, and, oh. had, and had two like wolf pups with him that he protected and kept with him at all times. Of the God Emperor's <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh, well, I think he'll explain. Certainly interesting. You bear many titles, all of them drenched in cold blood. Yeah. Though that might be true, who are you to assume this? I am the Primarch of the Volca Federica. Yeah, that's the actual name of the Space Wolves in their native tongue. Leaving Russ, the Wolf King of Fingris, and the Emperor's Executioner. Yeah. Wow. He broke <laughs> Magnus's spine over his back, over his knee. I can only assume that your own titles have not gone without bloodshed. Mari yeah, says she'll be right back. Uh, so okay. And I am here in the first place. I presume we are fairly alike, you and I. Um. Indeed, Inquisitor. No. Oh. oh, they just keep closing. I would never ride in the chair that walks for you when I have a pair of fox in my legs. I mean, if I had uh. sit, you look like you haven't fought at fought anything for decades, you <laughs> so have you no wolves? Well, Chrono, have you no wolves? <laughs> hey, what is that supposed to mean? You'll need to spend more time being raised by wolves, you tarnished old skeleton. Uh, the wolves are strong. That is true. <laughs> He's flexing. <laughs> I will avenge you, Jenna! <laughs> Who the hell is Jenna? I don't know! <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. He thinks he's the emperor. Oh. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll oh, be right no, back. I'm yeah. I'm not going oh, anywhere, but I'll be right that, back. Okay. That is, that's fine. <laughs> okay. So first Magnus, then freaking let's see, first Magnus, then, then um, Rogel Dorn, and uh, now we have Lehman Russ. Yeah. Yeah, but don't forget, Vulcan also appeared last uh, episode as well. Oh, yeah. Then Rogel, now Lehman. Who else is going to happen? Is it also a secret? It's a secret. <laughs> I love messing with Fail about this because he has no idea what's up next. He has no clue. The, a new world order. I'm gonna skip these for a second. I can think of someone edgy coming back. Oh, oh no, not a diary of my dark black soul. Oh, unforgiven chesticles. Who is this? As I have written into your ice white pages, <laughs> sorry about that. Times already, 
I barely know how long I've the been The only in this one place. I know that's super My edgy and not dead is Conrad Kurz. Sadness. <laughs> blood Ultimate tears. sadness. For those that don't know, um, who's fable describing is uh, Cor uh, who would you say the name was? Damn it, I can't remember. Conrad Kurz. Conrad Kurz, right. but Conrad Kurz is dead, fable. Unrelenting. Curse Look, dude, they have like similar sounding names and they're both Hello, uninteresting man. in every aspect of the word. Okay? Oh, you mean Corvus Corax? Yes, Corvus Corax. Yeah, Corvus Corax, for I those who don't know, is the leader of the most edgy looking of all the Space Marine chapters, which is the Raven Guard. Which they all oh, have goodness. like pale white skin. They all look like they belong in like. Uh, Empire? A link a Lankin Park band or like Slipknot or whatever, uh, where they have really pale skin and long hair. And like black hair. Actually <laughs> really cramped and shitty Welcome back, Mark. Cathedral or a sea or a Welcome palace. back. But they are all metaphors for my universe but <laughs> sorrow. But that is what I deserve for my soul crushing, heart slashing, oh, mind super annihilating transgression. Against mankind, <laughs> but as of late, I oh have heard God. things. Yes, I have heard whispers from the outside. Fake <laughs> whispers right, of a new age. Should be, upon our kin. should be right back again. Uh, okay. Jack suddenly dropped okay. the phone. Oh dear. The loyal Later and the traitorous baby. slowly returning to the fray. I presume my time here oh, sure in my dark black dragon dark steel obliterating <laughs> soul <laughs> too, has come to its end as well. I told them about it. <laughs> the I don't want to us, again. <laughs> and I shall be here in my loneliness. Nevermore. That's okay, Hor. Honey. He wrote nevermore. Wait. <laughs> oh, I am totally stuck. Uh, it's like a metaphor for my life. Oh. Well, fuck you, crap space. I didn't want to leave anyway. <laughs> he's still trying to get out. Why is he making us home? Because he's Help, stuck somewhere please. and he doesn't know how to get out. Hello? 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 Help me. Help. Help. Hello? It's really quiet tonight, yes? <laughs> I love the... <laughs> it 